The internet feels endless, but what you see every day is just the surface. Behind Google, Facebook, and YouTube lies a hidden world. A place most people never see, never visit, and never even think about. This hidden space is known as the dark web. The name alone sparks fear and curiosity. Some imagine hackers in dark rooms. Others think of criminals making secret deals. But the truth is much more complex. To understand why the dark web exists, you first need to understand the internet itself. The part you use daily, websites like Google, Amazon, or NETFLIX is called the surface web. It's open, searchable, and accessible to anyone. But the surface web is only a tiny fraction of the internet. Beneath it lies the deep web. The deep web includes private databases, medical records, banking portals, and academic research. These are not bad or illegal. They are simply protected by passwords and firewalls. And deeper still is the dark web. Unlike the deep web, the dark web is intentionally hidden. It requires special software like Tor to access. And this is where things get interesting. Why would anyone build a part of the internet that is hidden? Why allow websites that can't be found by normal search engines? The answer isn't as simple as crime. The dark web exists for both good and bad reasons. One reason is privacy. In today's world, everything we do online is tracked. Every search, every click, every purchase leaves a digital footprint. Some people don't want that level of surveillance. The dark web offers anonymity. It hides your identity, your location, and your online activity. For people living under oppressive governments, this anonymity is vital. It allows them to share information freely without fear of punishment. Whistleblowers use the dark web to leak sensitive information. Journalists use it to communicate with sources in dangerous countries. Even ordinary citizens use it when they want to escape mass surveillance. In this way, the dark web protects freedom of speech. But privacy has another side. Just as it protects the innocent, it also shields the guilty. Criminals take advantage of anonymity to run illegal businesses. This is where the dark web gets its terrifying reputation. On hidden marketplaces, people buy and sell drugs, weapons, and stolen data. Hackers offer services for hire. Scammers set up fake sites to trick victims. And some claim even darker activities exist. One of the most infamous myths is the so-called Red Room, a place where people could watch horrifying live streams for money. Most experts believe these are urban legends, but the very idea adds to the dark web's chilling mystery. So why hasn't the dark web been shut down? If it's filled with crime, why does it still exist? The answer lies in technology. The dark web runs on networks like Tor, which were originally created for privacy and security. Believe it or not, Tor was developed with support from the US government. Its purpose was to help intelligence agents communicate securely. Later, activists and ordinary citizens began to use it. Today, it remains a tool for anyone seeking privacy online. This means the dark web is not just about crime. It's a mix of good and bad. For every illegal marketplace, there are forums for free speech. For every scam, there is a safe space for vulnerable people. Some communities on the dark web focus on research and science. Others are built around art, philosophy, and anonymous discussions. In these places, people can speak openly without fear of being judged. Freedom, after all, can sometimes only exist in the shadows. Still, governments around the world monitor the dark web. Law enforcement agencies track illegal activity constantly. Many large marketplaces have been shut down. But like a hydra, when one disappears, another takes its place. This cat and mouse game continues to this day. Criminals build new systems. Police find new methods to catch them. The cycle never really ends. So when we ask why does the dark web exist, the answer is not only about crime or secrecy. It exists because people demand privacy. It exists because free speech sometimes needs protection. Think about it this way. The same tool can be used for good or for evil. A knife can cut food or harm someone. The dark web is just like that. For journalists, it's a lifeline. For whistleblowers, it's safety. For oppressed citizens, it's freedom. But for criminals, it's a playground. This duality is what makes the dark web so fascinating. It is both a shield and a weapon, a protector and a threat. 
a hidden world with two faces, and maybe that's why people can't stop talking about it. The dark web represents our deepest fears and our strongest desires. The desire for freedom. The fear of the unknown. The next time you hear someone mention the dark web, remember this, it isn't just a place for criminals. It is also a place where human rights find protection. It is a shadow, but one cast by light. So why does the dark web exist? Because we live in a world where privacy matters. Because some voices cannot survive in the open. Because the internet, like humanity itself, has both light and darkness. And as long as people seek freedom, the dark web will remain not just as a tool for criminals, but as a symbol of resistance, secrecy, and survival. In the end, the dark web is not just a place, it is an idea. An idea that information should be free. An idea that some truths can only live in the shadows. The dark web exists because the world created it. And as long as that world remains imperfect, the dark web will continue to exist, mysterious, hidden, dangerous, but also necessary.